This is CPM Pre-Calculus Chapter 3, number 96. Here we want to simplify the following rational expressions into a single simplified fraction. So right now we have um, this binomial multiplied by this binomial, and we want a single fraction. Okay. So let's go ahead and look at this term, these terms here first in this binomial. We have 1 minus x over y times 1 plus x over y. So here, in order to add the 1 and the x over y, we're going to need a common denominator. So let's multiply the 1 by y over y. Okay. Similarly, let's multiply this 1 by y over y as well. Okay. That's going to give us y over y minus x over y times y over y plus x over y. You see that? The 1's become y over y. Now we're able to add across and keep that denominator as it is. So this becomes y minus x over y squared. Sorry, not y squared, over y, because we're just keeping the denominator. They have a common denominator. Times y plus x over y. Okay. Now we're able to multiply across. Okay, we have this is equal to y minus x times y plus x over y times y. Here's the y squared. Okay. So the last step is going to be to simplify this, multiplying these two binomials. I'm going to use the box method. We don't use that a whole lot. Y plus x, right? We want to multiply y minus x times y plus x. So y times y is y squared, negative xy here. Y times x is xy. X times negative x is negative x squared. The thing is, these two cancel out because they are opposites, so we're left with just y squared minus x squared. And in the denominator, we have y squared. Okay? Let's box our answer because now it is a single simplified fraction. You might think, oh, wait a minute, can't we reduce this and factor it because it's the difference of two squares? Um, we could, but that would not simplify it. That would um, factor it. Let's go on to part B. Part B, we have this y over x minus x over y divided by y over x plus x over y plus 1. Okay, so let's go ahead and work on these individually. So in order to add this numerator here, all this, we want to multiply y over y by this term to get the denominator of x times y and x over x by this term to get the denominator of x over of x times y. Likewise, when we we're going to add the terms in the denominator, we're going to multiply this first one by y over y and this one by x over x because that's going to give us a common denominator as well. So let's go ahead and rewrite this. So that's going to be y squared over xy, right? I can write them in any order, minus x squared over xy, all over y squared over xy, plus x squared over xy, and don't forget the plus 1 here, okay? Finally, we're able to go ahead and add the numerators here, so we have y squared minus x squared over xy, we have a single denominator divided by y squared plus x squared over xy. Okay, plus 1. So now we have this expression, this rational expression, divided by another one. So that's the same thing as the numerator's fraction divided by the reciprocal of the denominators. So that's y squared minus x squared over xy times, and take the reciprocal, we put the denominator in the numerator and the numerator into the denominator. Okay, so we're going to multiply these and don't forget the plus one. When we multiply these, we can go ahead and cancel these terms. Okay, and we, we are left with y squared minus x squared over y squared plus x squared plus one. And don't go ahead and think, oh, we can cancel these, we can cancel these, we cannot. Because these are not being multiplied, these are being added. Okay, So we have to co consider this as a whole binomial and denominator. 
All right, so finally we have this one here. So this is not yet a single fraction. So to get this one to become, um, to be able to add to this fraction, we have to get a common denominator. So let's go ahead and make the common denominator y squared plus x squared. And we have to put that in top because now this is just multiplying by 1, which doesn't change the value. So we have y squared minus x squared plus y squared plus x squared, right? All over oops, y squared plus x squared. Right? We are able to add them because they have a common denominator. Now we just add the common, the like terms. So we have y squared and y squared. That's 2y squared. Negative x squared and x squared cancel out all over y squared plus x squared. And we cannot cancel these two again because this is all over y squared plus x squared. And this is our final simplified fraction. Okay? And this ends for us CPM Precalculus Chapter 3, number 96.